Negotiations for Microsoft acquiring the popular app TikTok are on hold Saturday after President Trump said the U.S. was planning to ban the app. It was a shocker. Todd Bishop is from GeekWire. What's interesting is we more frequently talk about China banning American companies. So that is something that over the years has been a point of contention. White House officials have discussed security and privacy concerns with the app, which allows people to make short videos and add text and music to them. The White House says the Chinese government is misusing the data. A TikTok spokesperson said they have always protected the privacy of their users. There is not a lot, if any, evidence that the Chinese government is using data from TikTok and essentially surveilling U.S. citizens. At this point, that doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means that there is not a lot of evidence or really any significant evidence that that's happening. The president's comments have led to a debate over whether the president can impose a ban and what that could mean for relations between the U.S. and China. There are all sorts of repercussions this could have if it does get into more of a, a tech war between the two countries. Now, to be clear, we're not there. We have no indication of that. But just projecting forward and thinking about past behavior between these two countries, especially right now, Really, it's not hard to imagine. Bishop says if Microsoft were to acquire TikTok, it could have a positive impact on future jobs. Even just its U.S. operations ends up going to a, a Seattle company, even if it remains and likely would remain based in Culver City, California, in the Southern California area, it would still be a big deal. Tony Black, King 5 News.